<laughs> Hi. I'm glad you came back today. I really appreciate it. I think you're going to like what we do today. Um, <laughs> the guys that's at the clinic, they went nuts over it. So I want you to see what we really did. I want to give you the, an opportunity to see what it really takes to change your golfing life, for you to learn how to make a golf ball do anything you want to do. First thing I'm going to do is just give you a little short clip of the classroom stuff. I want you to watch a little bit, but what we talked about in the classroom, okay? Take a peek at that real quick. Because the general consensus in the golf teaching industry and in golf is that if you can fix or find a problem with your golf swing, you're going to start hitting better shots. Anybody ever hear that theory before? Uh-huh, all the heads bobbing up and down. <laughs> but that's wrong. I shouldn't say it that way because I don't want to put anyone down. That's not my, that's not my goal in life. And I've done too much of that or ended up doing that more than I wanted to because I really didn't want to do that. What I want to say is there's a better way. There's no one that I know of except me is out there teaching the fact that if you learn to make this ball do what you want it to do, you're going to end up with a golf swing anyhow. <laughs> so the golf swing will show up, learn to make this do what you want it to do. I see some saucer looks out there. <laughs> Different thinking, isn't it? All the way around. It's something that we have not been taught. It just hasn't been brought to our attention that if we could make the golf ball do what we want it to do, then our golf swing would be just fine. We don't have to worry about it. If we'd pay attention to that, making this thing do what you want becomes so simple it's pathetic. <laughs> now I said a while ago, if I take this thing and pull across it, it's going to slice, isn't it? Now, that golf ball started toward the camera and took off this direction. Now, if I did it this direction, it should hook, shouldn't it? But instead of using a ping pong paddle, I'm just going to make a little light, soft swing with a five iron. I'm just going to take this five iron and make the same type of motion where I put some side spin on it that way. Does everybody see that okay? Okay, this will go toward the camera. That ball's going curving off to the left. I got my return system working now. <laughs> These guys are better than you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> now, same thing. Now, the two things that I want you to really learn before we start doing shot making stuff here and going to lunch pretty soon. The path, <clears throat> the path in which the golf club swings determines where the golf ball goes. The club face and only the club face determines which way it curves. Does anyone not understand that? Because it's really important. If you need me to say it again, I'd love to. Because it's so important to get this. Am I correct in engineering? This mass of weight's going to hit that ball and start it flying a certain direction, is it not? Okay. So the secret to starting to hit golf balls where you want is learning how, okay, <laughs> haven't moved my feet, have I? I'm swinging the golf club all over the place. Learning how to swing the golf club where you want the ball to go. Then adjusting the club face to which way you want to curve the thing. So a while ago I drew a picture, uh, a line up here. Maybe you can remember it. You're all smarter than I am. Oh, there's a golf ball flying through the air. Okay? Now I don't care if you're left-handed or right-handed. <clears throat> We've got an arc to the right, don't we? That's what everybody describes to me when I say they come in. They used to come to the golf shop when I managed. <coughs> Excuse me. Daryl, I'm having the worst doggone day. How come everything I hit slices? Well, Where's your golf ball starting? Oh, they just all slice crock. Well, see you later, pal. You didn't help yourself or me. <laughs> okay? Here's how I see every golf shot, Mr. Engineer. I see every golf shot. Like that. I see a line that the ball starts on, and I see a direction it curves. 
That's why you can email me, and it's so important you do, because if you'll tell me, a guy the other day, just yesterday in fact, a guy emailed yesterday and said, I've sent 10 swing clips, will you analyze them for me, video clips? I wrote him back and said, screw you, buddy. I don't know, I didn't. <laughs> what I said was, I don't believe in video, I don't teach video, I'm not going to take the time to do that. You wouldn't know what I said anyhow, it doesn't matter. Not to be offensive. But all I want to know is what your golf ball do. And I said, if you can tell me what your golf ball does most typically, I can fix your shot for you without ever seeing a swing club. Because this tells me, we're going to say, here's target, okay? This tells me you're swinging left, and that tells me your club face is open. How far left and how far open, I don't have a clue. I just know it is. There's two ways to fix that shot. You've got to learn to swing over here somewhere and close your club face to make a shot that looks like that. Now, okay, I, I will guarantee you that you're probably thinking, I wish I was there because that's different. I've never heard golf taught in a classroom without golf clubs in your hand and hitting balls in the range and doing all this and that and all these positions are supposed to do. These fellows are between, twi between 16 and 25 handicap, and I never had them pick up a golf club. Yeah, you saw it. There are a couple little demos where they did something. We didn't teach golf swing. We were in there two and a half hours, and when they went to the range, you were going to see in a, in a little bit here, I said, do you understand what you're doing from what we talked about in the classroom? Yeah. You're a slicer. Yeah. Do you think you know how to hit a draw today? Yeah, I think I do. Would you like to give a shot? Yeah, come on over here and give a shot at it. And I mean within just moments, they're hitting draws. But I just, I, t I asked them to look at the information from the classroom, put that in their mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know now why I used to slice and why I've always sliced. I know how to make it not slice anymore. I've got it. So, okay, we'll take a little, I call it a rehearsal, not a practice swing. A practice swing is a waste of time. A rehearsal to me is like going to a, a a play somewhere. They've got a dress rehearsal or two. The day or two running, or the last week even, running right up to, to uh, showtime, they're doing dress rehearsals and that means everything is exactly the same. So I do this rehearsal thing and have my guys do it. The only difference is that I have them in the rehearsal, just use about 5% of the energy, you don't, don't want to waste any uh, energy really, but I want you to feel what we've been talking about so you can understand this. Step up, make a little rehearsal, whew, hit the draw. <laughs> I'll show you that in a little bit, but I'm going to tell you something first that I look at. See, most, in fact, the golf, the golf teaching industry has made us all believe that the club face has to be square to the target in order to hit a good straight shot. Well, that really sounds good, except if there are any mathematicians listening, I want you to think of a circle. And let's put it down flat first. If a circle has 360 degrees. Now, in geometry, that circle has a tangent coming off of each one of those 360 degrees. The tangent is 90 degrees from the, from the axis point, touches the circle, so it's 90 degrees. So in other words, in 360 degrees, if I put an arrow pointing to your target that touched the edge of that circle, and that circle's laying down, there's only one degree in that whole 360, it's only one degree where that points at the target. It's going to point over here, over there, over there, over there, at the target, left of the target, left. It's not going to point at it very often. Now, how are you going to find that one degree down there while you're in full motion swinging the golf club? This has got to be a zoo. No wonder everybody's struggling. Now, I look at something real simple. I like to have golfers learn how to swing the golf club where they want to go. Now that may sound difficult to you, but I, 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 you'll see, I'll show you the clip here in just a minute where I have the golfer swing at me. Not one golfer asked about the golf swing when around the range or in the classroom <laughs> and they were hitting perfect golf shots and loving every minute of it. So here's the deal. What I want you to learn to kind of do is change your concept. You see this big line going like, coming from you to me, you see this big line going like that. That's a slice for, most, for the right-handers, okay? You see a big curve. I don't see a curve. I see where the ball starts 
and I see what direction it went. It came out, it started this direction, and it went that way during the flight. It's simple. Now the reason I have two parts, because golfers can call in or email and say, hey, I'm slicing everything, what's wrong? Well, tell me something. Is it starting over there, over there, over there before it slices? So I see a straight line and an angle. Because number one, the straight line tells you from the moment you make contact where you were swinging the golf club, where that golf club was headed. Not the club face, where the golf club was headed in the swing. Now, the way the golf ball curves tells you what position the club face was in when it made contact with the ball. <laughs> you can turn it off now. You learned everything. That's it. <laughs> I learned that sitting in a physics class my senior year of high school. This thing is nothing more than a heavy ping pong ball. If you can make a ping pong ball do what you want, you can make a golf ball do what you want. Take a look. Watch these guys for a minute. I'll be back in a little bit. You leave town. <laughs> <laughs> Out of order. Ricardo, you want to hit a draw. I want to hit a draw. You have sliced most of your golfing career. Okay, I'm going to give you some real good instructions, so listen closely. All of you get this. Because Ricardo, how many years you played? Three. Three years and, and never hit a draw on purpose. Okay? So I'm going to give you some... Listen real closely, okay? Draw this one, okay? Don't fade it, draw it. That's your instruction. Got it? There, you just took a lesson. That, you just took a $500 lesson. <laughs> I don't care how you hold it in your hand, just make sure you get it to draw. Hold it, don't swing yet. I don't want you to fail. You don't ha go ahead and hold your club, sir. Yeah, the man didn't have a chance. This hand is over the top so much it's going to make the club come here to get the hand shaking. This one's only neutral. Now watch this. Okay. You feel weak now, don't you? Mm -hmm. Now take a practice swing, a little rehearsal gently, and tell me what you feel the club do now. Oh. Whoosh. Whoosh and flip, didn't it? Feel it? Mm -hmm. Turn your left hand over more just for the fun of it on the club. We're going to go ahead and hook it for the first one. Atta boy. Now just step up and swing. We don't care if you pull it or what you do. I just want to show you it's not hard to make a ball curve left. There's a draw that the man's been wanting to hit since he started playing golf. Nice job, sir. I want to I wanna practice the... That'd be nice. Hold your club. That. <laughs> In fact, you stand there. Keep your feet about that far apart, close. Swing the club at me. There, feel that? You kind of did that a little bit, not that bad. Okay, now swing it over here. Same way, let it release. Over here a little more, you swung over there. Hard to do, you still can't do it, can you? Do me a little favor, watch this, the way the human body is made. Put extra weight on your back foot and leave it there. Now swing at me. Okay, now you're ready for a golf ball. Was that hard to do? No. Nope. Ah. The gentleman said, no, it's easy to do. Fellas, do you see what we're up to? This is not difficult. We've made this thing so stinking hard. And it's not hard at all. Turn your left hand over the top more. In fact, both hands. Here's what you have a tendency to do. You have a tendency to set that neutral and this. Now you set it for slice all day long. You need that and you need to get that here on the club. So it's coming in. There you go. All right. Now, just get your weight on your back foot before you start. Back foot, tilt. Atta boy, stay there. Atta boy, good. Did you like that shot? No. No. So, do you know what you meant to do? I tried to. Do, no, no, not. Do you understand what you want to do? Then do it. Just go to golf ball and do it. Just do what you meant to do. Don't fix anything that went wrong. Just do what you meant to do. There we go, nice draw down the middle. <laughs> the man's running from the camera. <laughs> now, gentlemen, the point being, and we're going to let you... <laughs> You've all heard that if you just can visualize your shot, you can do it. Well, the problem is if you don't know what makes the golf ball do what it's going to do or what you want it to do, you can visualize all day long, and it's not going to help you. 
it's really impossible to visualize something that you don't understand. Visualization really is seeing in your mind, bringing to memory, to recall something that you fully understand. That's what visualization is. Visualization isn't dreaming. You can't close your eyes and wish the golf ball to draw. You've got to know how to make the golf ball curve for a right-hand golfer, curve left. If you don't know how to make a golf ball curve left, visualization does you absolutely no good at all. If you don't know, if you haven't taught your body and your mind what it feels like to make the club cause the golf ball to do what you want to do, your visualization is useless. What I want you to start to learn is I want to show you how to understand what makes that ball draw and think about it enough until you're, you're, just, you're chomping it a bit to go to the driving range because you're thinking, I got it. I finally got it. I can't wait to go try it. I'm going to go jump in the car and go do it now. <laughs> That's what visualization is. Visualization is seeing something. And you see it to a point where you know you can do it. That's visualization. You don't see it in your mind and go, God, I wish I could do that. <laughs> That's not going to do any good. So I'm going to teach you and I want you to understand. I'm going to show you what makes it really happen. Once you understand what really makes it happen, and that's what we did in the classroom and showed you a little earlier, then you go to the driving range and throw some balls down there and you are hitting the shots of nothing flat. Take a peek, to, watch these guys hit some balls. You'll see what I'm talking about. Well, you know what? You spent, a good, you spent the right dollars today because you came to find out that it's not hard. What kind of shot would you like to hit? I'd like to hit a draw without pulling. I've been pulling a lot. Okay. Of Take a little rehearsal and rehearse a draw. Do you understand how a draw works? Yeah. Okay. Now, one of the reasons you pull is your weight's in the balls of your feet. You reach too far for the golf ball, so your energy is coming in, so you pull your shots. So hold your golf club once, please. Okay. And I'm going to close it just a tad more in your hands. Stand okay. up straight like you are. Woo, way too tight. Get loose. Oh. Get on your right foot. Too much grip pressure? Oh, way too much. Get on okay. your right foot mostly. Now, you feel where we're swinging that thing? Yeah. Down yeah. to the right? Yeah. But you've been swinging here. Okay, so it was over the top. Okay. <laughs> That's what they call it. It's called in golf swinging over the top. I call it swinging left because that makes more sense to me. I'm not smart enough to understand over the top. That is gorgeous. I didn't see it. But... It went over there to the right and stayed over to the right. Is, is that what you wanted to hit? That wasn't it, was it? No, I wanted, oh. I wanted to draw it a little Okay, bit. then put your left hand over the club enough to see so you're going to... What happened there is you didn't feel yourself come in like that to the golf ball. Okay, I didn't... Now, it's going to happen way back here. But what you did is you hit the golf ball and then did this afterwards. Right from here, get that toe in there, okay? Is it the hands or the fingers? Fingers. I call it the fingers, so the last, last three fingers are the top hand or left hand. Feel it on the way down closing? Yeah. Good. It's a little tricky to close it on the way down and still swing the outside, although it's not difficult at all. I'm going to get real close to this man. Was that a draw? <laughs> yes, sir. Did you do it on purpose? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could do it again? I think so. Okay. Was it hard to do? No. It wasn't hard to do? Golfers all over the world. That had to be a little bit different for you. Uh, it was different for the golfers. You should have seen, and I don't know if you could tell or not, you should have seen the look on their faces. One each one at a time, the guys had just come up who had always been slicers, and they're hitting draws with, I mean, in nothing flat. It didn't take an hour lesson for each one of them to make it happen. In three weeks of practice, they were doing it right now. So it's that simple. And I, I, just, I just want to thank you for letting me share that and take the time with you to show you some new thoughts. What I hope I have done is caused you to think about swinging a golf club, directing a golf shot, making the ball do what you want to do. Hope I've made you think about that in a whole new light that you've never thought of before. Because all we've ever been taught is we've got to change our golf swing. You don't have to change your golf swing. You've got to change how you think. And you change how you think by learning to understand something. And that's all I want. Once you can understand something, you can do it. 
you can learn to draw the ball that fast yourself. It's not a problem. Sit down for a few minutes and think about what you've heard here today. And you'll be able to go out and do the same thing. So I hope I've helped you. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, if you really like it, my name is Daryl Klassen, and I'm a PGA professional. And if you, if you really like what you heard, I want you to tick the button one more time, okay? <laughs> and the reason I want you to do that is I just want permission from time to time to just pop up on your email uh, list here and, and say, hey, I got something else if you're interested. Take a look at this, okay? Great. Go out and give that a try and have some fun with it and start drawing the ball yourself. Thanks. I really appreciate it.